Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on Windows Server operating systems. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically dedicated to Windows Server operating systems. What we're going to do is going to go over the compatible types. We're going to show you how to install Windows Server directly onto your 350. So let's go and hop into the fun stuff. So what are the compatible types? There's 2019 and there's 2022. And technically with 2022, you can put in Windows 10 or Windows 11. But do note for Windows 11, you will need to make sure that you have some extra hardware and we'll leave some of that uh, information in the description below. So all right, well uh, now let's go ahead and hop into the step-by-step uh, -step instructions on exactly how to install it onto your server. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to install Windows Server 2022 locally onto your 15th gen server. All you're gonna need is a server with enough storage space available for the installation. You can do this with an external USB drive. You can do this with an M.2 SSD plugged in through an adapter, a SAS or SATA drive plugged into the back plane. You can do this a number of different ways. Uh, this process does not require an active network connection on the server. All right, first thing you're gonna do is go to the Microsoft link that you see listed here and we're gonna download the English 64-bit edition ISO file. All right, so now we need to create a bootable USB. We are gonna use a program called Rufus. So we just go into Google or to a web browser in general and search Rufus, download the program, and run it once it is downloaded. Plug the USB into the computer that you downloaded Rufus on, and under the device in Rufus, make sure the USB drive is selected. If you only have one USB drive plugged into your machine, it will be selected by default. Leave everything under the default settings, then click the select button and choose the ISO file that we downloaded in the previous steps. Click start to begin creating the Windows Server 2022 installation USB drive. All right, so now we wanna simply take our USB drive, put it into our server. Now let's boot up our server. Press F11 during post, and this will enter the boot manager, and you're gonna to wanna to select one shot UEFI boot menu. Select the USB drive that we plugged into the server, and hit enter. This will boot straight to Windows Server 2022 installation. The first screen that's gonna pop up will ask you the language, time and currency format, keyboard or input method. For us, it's all set to English United States, which is what we want. So we're gonna leave it as is. Now, obviously, if it's different for you, change it to what you want. Just click next, and then you're gonna click install now to begin. Next, we're gonna pick the specific operating system we want. In our case, we're picking Windows Server 2022 Standard Evaluation Desktop Experience. This is gonna be up to each individual user though on which operating system they want. You're gonna to need to accept the licenses, terms, and conditions and hit Next. Then you're gonna select Custom Install Windows Server Only Advanced. We'll choose this because we're installing a fresh version of Windows and we're not upgrading from a previous version. Now we're gonna choose the storage space that we wanna to use to install Windows Server on. We will select the storage space we prefer and hit next. Windows will begin the installation. The installation will take some time, so we will fast forward through this part, uh, but do know that this part will take several minutes for the Windows uh, installation process. The server is going to reboot when the installation has finished, and then it will boot into Windows Server 2022. We've done it. We've successfully installed Windows Server 2022 onto our server. Well, hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudinjus.com. That's sales at cloudinjus.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thank you.